Michael Wynn, who is the founder of Burma Human Rights Network. He joins us now live from London. Hi there. Uh, tell us what else you know about uh, what these soldiers have said, what details they've provided, and I mean, how much could their testimony actually boost the case of Rohingya refugees and others, you know, who accuse the government in Myanmar of genocide? I mean, this is a very crucial movement, mo moment for uh, for those who are striking for the, you know, struggling for the justice for the Rohingya minorities in Burma, those who have been facing decades of genocide and slow, slow genocide. So I think it is a very important moment for us. And uh, these two, uh, it is it depend on a lot on the technicalities of the, you know, ICC code and the legal, uh, you know, legal remedy, legal, uh, legal experts, how they are going to, uh, you know, um, uh, use this opportunity, how they are going to, you know, uh, imply uh, according to their, ex uh, you know, their expertise on this. Uh, it is uh, it is too early to say that, but uh, I mean, this is the one of the very historical moment in Burma. Okay. But you know, uh, as per the government in Myanmar, there will be suspicions that these soldiers will be, you know, looking to cut a deal. And if they say what prosecutors want, they might get lighter sentences. So the government there will say they are not to be believed. I mean, uh, importantly is, the most importantly is these are the people who are the key uh, witness, those who involved in the ground, you know, uh, the atrocities. And these soldiers, they have to conduct the order. Otherwise, they will be, you know, uh, their life will be in danger as well, otherwise in, in, in Burma. So this is the, that's why I said that this is very important, mainly depend on the, uh, legal expert, how they are going to uh, use this opportunity, because we have to look at the bigger picture. Uh, behind this uh, atrocities, there are the big, uh, you know, powerful people involved in like a top general, and we need to we need to brought them to justice. And these are the one small, uh, uh, you know, uh, soldiers, those who are just carry out the order from the from the top. So we have to look, uh, we have to chase after the, you know, the top general, those who are responsible for this crime. Okay, so what happens now? to the Rohingya people who are still languishing in refugee camps or just living in fear within Myanmar's borders? I mean, the Rohingya people are right now, you see that uh, they are uh, stuck in, Thai, in Bangladesh. Their life is miserable in Bangladesh camp. They are still running away from the Bangladesh and from, from Burma. There are nearly 600,000 Rohingya people inside Burma still remaining. They are trying to survive within this uh, civil war and, and say that there are also uh, heavy fighting going on with the with the Rakhine uh, ethnic arms group and, and and the Burmese military, and and we have seen that uh, recently the significant military buildup going on in, in in across the Rakhine state, which is really uh, worrying for us, very scary for us, because the civilians has been bombarded and shelling uh, heavy guns into the civilian area. So Rohingyas are now struggling in this civil war, and also they are struggling in in, in Bangladesh as well to survive, because this is not uh, going to be a good solution for them to remain long term in in Bangladesh. They must return back. They have to. Uh, they, 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 well, there must be repatriation to 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 Burma. But situation on in Burma is is not suggesting so. So they need to be. Uh, you know, uh, the, uh, one of the thing is very important thing is if justice going through, you know, more faster uh, international court of justice and international court criminal court will proceed this case. You know uh, that I think there is some hope there will be significant political changes in Burma going to happen and there will be some policy will be, you know, changes in Burma. And because the Rohingyas are still living in open air prison. Right. And, and recently we have published a report. They are struggling. They are surviving with trap between open air prison and when they try to run away, they ended up in the jail. Okay. So this is the situation of the Rohingya people. Kiao Wen, we're going to have to leave it there. Thank you so much uh, for joining us. Yeah, we appreciate sir. it.